welcome to the night. Here I am, Marvel. This edition story. Government provides tangible support for the national fight against the COVID pandemic. Saint Lucia takes another step with establishing a cannabis and the cultural icon Pichu. Dies days after displaying his passion. The government of the UK has provided tangible support for the national fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Mosley, on Tuesday, 14 September 1, during the sitting of the House of Assembly, provided details on the various measures taken over the last. Honorable Jabati told the House that major improvements have been completed at the respiratory hospital, bringing relief to patients as workers. The minister reported that a functioning telecommunication system is in place. Critically, the Ministry of Health has increased personnel at the respiratory hospital to ensure the monitoring of COVID patients and those awaiting results. Honorable Jabati is further informed that additional staff will be made available. The system of monitoring from testing to results to home monitoring of positive cases to the transfer to the Victoria Hospital if necessary need to be streamlined and our professionals are meeting today, this afternoon, to strengthen and tighten that system. Four, community testing and vaccinations will receive a boost with the purchase of a new vehicle thanks to the Minister for Finance and Prime Minister. For this purpose, we're staffing. The vehicle will complement another vehicle which is being repaired for the purpose of having a permanent mobile unit for the vaccination and testing around the communities in St. Lucia. We are trying, Mr. Speaker, to limit the movement of suspected cases, that is, from traveling from their homes through our transportation system to the hospital to, to be tested. And sometimes they do not get the tests and have to return on the very bus back to their homes. We are trying our best to, to, to take the test, possibly even to the homes of suspected cases. To avert any shortage of medical gas, the Ministry of Health, in partnership with the Ministry of External Affairs, secured supplies from the Martinique. We caused a shipment of, of liquefied oxygen to reach St. Lucia from Martinique urgently, just as a backup in the event that our gas at our medical gas at Victoria Hospital got us got into problems. We had a situation where we had to um, seek the assistance of the OKEU hospital and also the Tapio hospital. And I want to take this opportunity to, to thank the management of the OKEU hospital and also the Tapio hospital for working with us. But we got a shipment from Martinique on Saturday and I wish to thank Dr. Eugene and Miss Nancy Francis for ensuring that things went well at the ports. Honorable Mosey Jabati says government remains in dialogue with property owners in order to increase the room stock for clean. Meanwhile, the respiratory hospital to enhance its treatment of COVID-19 patients following the donation of an extra More in this report from... As part of efforts to aid in St. Lucia's response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the government of France recently officially handed over a nano-portable X-ray machine to the government of St. Lucia. The nano-portable X-ray machine is expected to assist the staff at the respiratory hospital in providing care for patients infected with the COVID-19 virus. Medical Director of the Respiratory Hospital, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, says the donation of the portable extra machines is timely and will assist in the clinical diagnosis of patients. Radiology imaging is one of the critical elements of clinical diagnosis of patients in the treatment regime for COVID-19. As everyone is aware, our radiology imaging services at the respiratory hospital is outsourced because our equipment has malfunctioned. The past few weeks has been very tasking. 
managing the logistics of x-rays with the various private sector agencies. This gift will enable the radiology team to provide timely x-ray images to the clinical team to aid in clinical diagnosis and the treatment of our patients. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the Honorable Moses Jabatis, expressed gratitude to the government of France for the donation and says this demonstrates their commitment to assist St. Lucia in the management of the COVID-19 pandemic. X-ray services are vital, as Dr. Eugene indicated. The services are a vital component in the management of patients at the respiratory hospital. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs must ensure that the hospital has the capacity to perform x-rays when requested by physicians who are managing the patients at the facility. The Ministry of Health recognizes this donation of the Fuji Digital X-ray Portable Nano Machine is another in a series of material, financial and technical support that France is providing to St. Lucia in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Ambassador to the Eastern Caribbean States, Barbados and the OECS, His Excellency Jacques Henry Els says, this donation is part of the long-standing health cooperation between the government of France and the government of St. Lucia. This equipment there uses a cutting-edge technology absolutely essential to diagnose and evaluate the intensity of viral infections in COVID patients. It will be the first of such kind at the Victoria Hospital and hence will greatly impact the care of patients by facilitating their treatment and therapy. The Ministry of External Affairs, International Trade, Civil Aviation and Diaspora Affairs were also thanked for their contribution in coordinating with the relevant counterparts in Martinique and France to make this donation possible. The Nano Portable Extra Machine is valued over 160,000 EC dollars. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Penel Neptune. Sanness abounds as another folk cultural icon, Patrick Jules, popularly known as Pete, passed away on Sunday, September 12, 2021, two weeks after the passing of his father, Emmanuel. Keaton, who was an accomplished violinist and band player, had his last performance at the Pigeon Island National Park on Friday, September 10, less than two full days before his death. Keaton began playing the violin 41 years ago at the age of A student of his father and things on passing, Keaton excelled at to become a master violinist. After accompanying several folk bands over the years, he established his own folk band and was one of the most sought-after bands throughout the future. A member of the Monsignor Patrick Anthony Folk Center, he participated in several FRC activities which required his violin skills. Keaton migrated to the United States, where he formed another folk band entertaining St. Lucians and other loved folk music in the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Keaton returned to St. Lucia and became a member of the Mamai Lakai folk band as a band player until his death. Like the many cultural icons of our past, the Jews will be seen. His contribution to the cultural development of the country should not be noticed, but etched in the annals of St. Lucia history. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip J. Piat, Tuesday sitting of the House of Assembly, presented the Drug Prevention Administration Amendment Bill. The Prime Minister explained that the bill seeks to initially decriminalize up to 30 grams of cannabis for one's personal use, with more comprehensive legislation and regulations for the entire cannabis industry. Um, Honorable Pierre added that the changes to the legislation encourages members of the public to recklessly consume cannabis. Let me make it clear, Mr. Speaker. This is not a signal for people to start consuming cannabis irresponsibly, especially in public spaces. To get respect, 
one must give respect. And I mean, one must respect other people's right to breathe clean, smoke-free air. There are people with conditions such as asthma, allergies, and COPD, and other respiratory symptoms that may negatively be affected if you spoke in public, Mr. Speaker. By improving the regulatory framework in the Misuse of Just Act, people are able to smoke 30 grams of marijuana without being arrested or charged by the police. The Prime Minister went on to highlight that through the improvement of the Drug Prevention Administration Act, the government of St. Lucia will now be able to address the public health issues associated with consumption. These include underage youth, the predisposition to psychosis with cannabis being a trigger and dosing. The government, he explained, will now be able to roll out its national education program, which will include prevention and harm reduction strategies. Minister for Youth Development and Sport Honorable Ken Casimir, while expressing his support for the bill, cautioned the young athletes that the drug is still recognized as being illegal in the world of sport. Though this bill may pass in this lower house today, marijuana is still considered illegal by the World anti doping Agency, WADA. Despite being decriminalized in many countries and states, WADA defended the ban on cannabis in a paper published in the journal for sports medicine. Citing a study on marijuana's ability to reduce anxiety, Water found cannabis could help athletes better perform under pressure and to alleviate stress experienced before and during competitions. So to our athletes, according to the governing board that is charged with the responsibility of mitigating fairness, marijuana in any quantity is still banned. So for those of you who followed the recently completed Olympic Games, one of the fastest women in the world, Shakari Richardson, was banned from this Olympics after they found trace amounts of marijuana in her system. So I certainly would not want this for any of our hard-working athletes. Minister for Tourism, Investments, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest there explained that the government's move to decriminalize marijuana seeks to address historic prejudices. Honorable Dr. Hilaire indicated that this is being handled using a faith approach. The government also said at a previous sitting took legislative action to expunge records of persons involved in minor criminal acts, including the possession of small amounts of cannabis. Today, we're taking it one step further. It's not the complete process. But you are taking it one step further. We are now saying that if you are in possession of no more than 30 grams, which is not much more than something like this, Mr. Speaker, you will not and cannot be convicted for such possession. We now need to go on to the third stage where we will address issues of cultivation and distribution and those other issues relating to the establishment of an industry around the use of cannabis. Changes in the legislation have signaled a move towards establishing a cannabis industry that will not only provide revenue for the government of St. Lucia, but provide employment for the people in the future. Honorable Alfred Prosper, Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Rural Development and Food Security, returns to his roots with the latest leg of his familiarization. Oh, Anissa Antoine has that story. The most recent leg of the familiarization tour of the Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Rural Development and Food Security, Honorable Alfred Prosper, began with a visit to the Department of Forestry, which he once led as Chief Forestry Officer. The Minister was briefed by Department officials who provided an overview of all ongoing initiatives as well as Department concerns. Minister Prosper noted the significance of the forestry division for the country's future development. He emphasized the importance of close collaboration with the Water Resource Management Agency in protecting St. Lucia's resources, as well as the department's significant progress. It is a very, very, very 
pleasant opportunity to meet colleagues that I worked with just a pro less than a year and a half ago. And it was a very good feeling to get back to my old home, if I can call it that way. You know, to really interact with colleagues who I've worked with many years, but more importantly, to get an understanding as to what happened since March last year when I retired from the public service. I must say, from the forestry department standpoint, a lot has happened in the last year and a half, and I am very, very happy that the staff complementing the department still understand and continue to make that commitment towards if effective management of the forest resource and more importantly protecting the forest resource. The minister's tour continued with a visit to the fisheries department where he met with department staff who provided insight into current developments in the fisheries sector. The familiarization tour, according to Minister Prosper, has given him a better understanding of the fishing industry, which will allow him to make more informed decisions. But it's the first time I'm really getting a good picture as to what's happening in the fisheries department. And I was very happy to get a feel as to what the rebate is all about and what the distress fund is all about, including a very important industry that I see is growing rapidly the CMOS industry, where a number of persons are getting into, uh, get attracted to this industry because of the livelihood opportunities for them. I was told that there is a very lucrative market for CMOS locally and outside of St. Lucia, and I think it's a very good opportunity for our unemployed, especially persons in the rural areas, benefiting from that sector. I'm hoping that the Fisheries Department, the Ministry of Agriculture as a whole, can work with those CMOS farmers in particular to really regula regulate the industry. Minister Prosper reaffirmed his commitment to the agriculture industry and to improving the lives of all those affected by it. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. This is the night. Primus Hutchinson is up next. Stay with us. Asse l'année, l'année 2019 et puis l'année 2020, le gouvernement passe des lois pour régler cette pratique qui a concerné la santé publique. Première, un ben non, changement de loi contre les femmes. Deuxième loi, c'était pour empêcher les femmes en pièce, place publique, tel qu'à Bawi, Bar, Westeron, Lens, à bord transport public, à bord taxi, et puis en pièce, place réservée pour les gens et puis débattre, n'importe quel type de transport. C'est obligation nous toutes pour connaître et puis respecter ces lois, pour assurer santé nous et puis protéger les nous contre Si la loi soit pe coupable et ben pièces business coupable agit contre des lois ça La loi a ordonné que en la main 5000 dollars pour moun qui ni agi personnellement et puis 10000 pour pièces business. C'est pour nous changer qui en temps maladie Covid-19 ça là. Qui nous fait nous même et ben mettez quoi nous en situation pour nous c'est cette âme. C'est l'habitude qui dangereux pour santé nous. À nous nous tout décider pour faire génération ça là, génération sans fumée. This is a message from the Minister of Health and Wellness, supported by Powell on this station. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle. We all. Merci au temps, Janelle. Merci, Madame Department, qui est responsable pour information à gouvernement de cette partie. Le PIS a sa mépite télévision nationale via NTN, qui a posé de nouvelles à We all. Les consommateurs cette fois-ci ont cherché à trouver une bonne représentation et assistance en bas de la loi que le gouvernement a passé à la Parlement pour que le ministre de la responsabilité pour faire un commerce avec les consommateurs pour nous faire un hypothèse. Vous avez dit que la législation est là, qui est constituée mardi le 14 septembre 2021. La législation est là, qui est adressée situation, les consommateurs et aussi pour tuer un uh, guide pour les établissements business à cette ci C'est une la législation qui a établi une façon égale pour tout, pour tout ça qui est en faveur, tout qui concerne les mais ça qui compte les consommateurs 
Kaye ni pwye fasi. Si lo, on ne wa bi polit. Mwa la just la sa. Ka fè provisyon pou yon patik ebe yon kliyan. A fè ne pot konsumate. Pou vizite ministère pou fè plit konsene pye situasyon ki ka afek yo. Ek pou yon ofisye registre se pret sa la. Ek pou kondwi investigasyon. Cho, loa sa la, koman di, ini bo 24 lane depi nou ka gou men pou menen yon dou van um, asou liv la loa. Me nou fè sa um, an 2015 epi menm si nou te mete uh, uh, asou loa nou te la pate ni on dat pou loa sa la koumanse paske an le sa la nou te dou boutan mouman epi tite tou se jan biznis la epi tout se avoka vye asiz pou gade epi pou, e pou, pou diskese pou e ki sa nou ka mete loa pou nou fè an za fè ti jis pou tout moun. Ministre de Konsumate a fè kopon ki a prezan, tout moun ki engaje, epi mwa sou la jistasyon sa la, ja dako, epi te awajman pou etabli yon loa de proteksyon de Konsumate pou se kreski. So, jodi a mwen kontan pou di tout jan sentri si, nou jodi a ka eseye fini on sa ou ka kouye, on dyo ni an, 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 voyaj ti te twe lan, 24 lan ni, epi jodi a nou ka ese ni an tchol loa te ka sou, lo ou achte an bagay, epi an bagay pa ka travay, la ni an loa pou pote jo ou, ou mou nan te achte la, osi an menm loa sa la, nou ka pote jo jan biznis. An palan de sa, Menez de sa fè komes e le konsumate distwe epi wapo ki ka moutwe ki adan klas biznis ka van se kouj an hou pwi ki gouvetman ja etabli. E ni yon do twa timen a prezan ki se presi ka espersi yon wita a distribisyon se kouj pe la. Ofise de sa fè komunikasyon a menezer de sa fè komes ka fè le konsumate Lisa William Davy eksplike ki yon trouve wapo la ni se te biznis ki ka pwen avantaj situasyon sa la pou gose kwi sik ouj la ek ta kont la loa. Awe, an san di sa, nou ni pou menaje sik la nou ni an peyi a. Bo pa dan menaje man sik la ka pwa kou, nou ni sla jwa jwa nou wa pwa kom kwe la ni biznes sik la van an li sik an ro pou ya ki lo dispoe, ebe ki ya pou ya ki apouve pa gouvernman. Menis la ka pon opotilite sa la pou fè piblik la chonje. Dat an liv si kako, sa nou ka kouye brown sugar, si pose vwen a yon dola. Ezek yon liv si blan, sa nou ka kouye white ebe refined sugar, si pose vwen a yon dola ek sengo. Menis la ka efeme piblik la dat pwi si kako. Se yon la se mache biz la ki gouvernman ka kontrole ezek legislasyon ki ka gouverne pwi mache biz ki kontrole sa se Distribution and Price of Goods Act kap 39. Ka fè kle dat nepot moun ki koupab ebe ki ka van tri ou ki pwi a yo si pose van nan sa twa pe kodone pou an fain ki pa ka ekside 7 mil dola ebe la jor pou yon lani, ebe tou le de se fain sa la. Madam Devi ka fe public la sa vki, nepot moun ki ni plet di yon sitwasyon kon sa, ta telefone dipatman, te anlimou 468-424-468-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-426-
ministre là renforcer importance division les forêts pour développement pays là et aussi importance collaboration qui bien pris entre agence d'aménagement ressources glo en pays cette ministre agricole là déclaré c'était un grand plaisir pour vivre ni à compte et puis tous ses collègues là qui en division les forêts après après plus qui ont l'année et demi qui passé il marque qui c'était un plaisir pour jeunes pour vivre en place là à ce travail là qui ont un deuxième caille pour lui plus toujours il dit pour ni engagement et puis ses collègues là qui travaillent pour toute quantité l'année quantité l'année mais encore pour Kawé qui est comprendre des progrès qu'il a fait depuis mois de mars l'année qui passé en département les forêts mais cela te continue visitation au département la pêche pour tes les officiers de pays au courant et puis développement en secteur la pêche visitation te continue pour établissement nouveau traitement et services animaux en volet en paresse micro station agricole sala a établi pour augmenter industrie des animaux en cette ci qui présentement en première phase li en développement qui ka bâti à sou a prendre acte établissement nouveau sala et ça peut tuer service pour santé des animaux et aussi à côté de ça traitement et conseil qui est available tout ça c'est pour éprouver service production des animaux à cette ministre prospère est très satisfait et puis progrès que j'ai fait et qu'à quoi qui établissement ça là qui peut tuer plusieurs opportunités expressement pour les jeunes femmes pour ça produit bon noix des animaux et pour ça multiplier ces noix là et pour vendre pour l'autre femme aux animaux. Mais nous avons aussi visité région 3, 4, côté de ten discussion et puis les officiers à ce programme qui est en place pour les femmes. Nous avons aussi visité une vision qui est responsable pour adresser la situation de vol des animaux et de la côté de trouver des informations à ce divers problèmes qui ces officiers ont été passés. Mais nous avons aussi continuer à faire des commentaires pour trouver à ce industrie agricole. C'est comme ça que nous avons fait une nouvelle là. Pour regarder, d'abord une invitation. Je ne peux pas te dire qu'on savait la vie. Il y a une nouvelle. Oui, à la présent, la vie est présente. Merci à toi, Primus. We now take a look at the weather. Forecast for Saint Lucia Valley for the next 24 hours. Sunrise Thursday, 5:52 a.m. Winds will be blowing from the east near 18 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour. The weather is fair to partly cloudy and hazy. Seas, slight with waves 2 to 4 feet or 0.6 to 1.2 meters. A plume of Saharan dust will cause a reduction in air quality and visibility over the region during the next couple of days. Persons with respiratory ailments and dust allergies are advised to take the necessary precautions. A tropical wave located over the tropical Atlantic is moving westward near 12 miles per hour or 19 kilometers per hour. A strong tropical wave located over the eastern tropical Atlantic has a high chance of tropical cyclone formation during the next two days as it moves westward near 23 miles per hour or 37 kilometers per hour. That brings us to the end of the night. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at AM. You can also catch up with us anytime on the Social Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am General Norvell.